hello everyone welcome to pande guruji youtube channel and the another video of the sql interview question uh, which help you to crack any type of the interview question so i am preparing here the uh, series by series the most important real time query based interview question uh, which is totally based on the real time scenario uh, if you practice all this question uh, you can go uh, my channel and uh, click on the sql interview interview question and answer and you can do the practice one by one and definitely uh, you able to clear any type of the interview if you attend like the for data analytics or the and data uh, science or the reporting analyst uh, uh, this playlist is very helpful to crack any type of the interview so uh, let's jump to the uh, today question so the question is the uh, this is the very uh, common uh, tricky question little bit uh, so if you uh, we can say this is the, this type of the conceptual question definitely uh, the interviewer will ask you so if you look the question the question have the uh, two part okay so i mentioned the two part so either they can interviewer they can ask you uh, how to count the number of repeatable character in the sql or the second question is the uh, how many time the p repeated so they will provide you some type of the uh, text so they wanted to know uh, how many this text is repeated uh, for example i have this input parameter that is the pande guruji mukesh pande pande guruji p so if they can ask you how many time p is repeated or uh, how many uh, how can how we can find the how many times m is repeated or any of the later so like for example if you take the example of the p so how many time the p is repeated so you can see 1 2 3 4 so 4 times p is repeated but uh, you cannot do manually if you have the long text so how you can achieve uh, by using the sql so that, that is the important uh, concept so uh, to solve this type of the question you need to know the uh, the syntax of the sql or uh, what syntax what uh, in build function we need to be used and also you need to put some type of the uh, extra mind okay within the uh, time frame so if you have the good practice okay all this function then you able to achieve this type of the some type of the uh, tricky question so let's start with this uh, uh, question so basically uh, how we can solve this question like for uh, example if you take the length complete length of this uh, uh, character like for example how many length is there so to find the complete length select uh, you need to put the length uh, function and within the length function you need to put the this text okay so uh, let me declare the text so we no need to be uh, execute uh, or put on by one so for the coding best practices you can first declare the when you attend the interview don't put like this copy paste uh, so this will be put a negative impact to the interviewer okay so first you can uh, declare any of the variable so like i am declaring one variable like, like the uh, uh, text variable i declare and you can uh, declare like uh, whatever the data type is there like for example i am taking the as a 100 and we need to be set the value okay so uh, whatever the text is provided by the interviewer you can put the all the text into into this variable so for example i put it here this okay so uh, so let me cut the here okay and paste it so now one time i uh, declare now i will use this variable so i use the text here so if you see the text here okay so what is the total length of the text or so total length uh, is the you need to be select till here because we already have the declare so total length is the 37 okay so if you subtract the 37 minus uh, if you uh, uh, eliminate the p so you will get the how many time the p is uh, repeatable okay so uh, for this situation uh, you need to be replaced with this uh, uh, replace you need to be replaced with the p uh, with the sum of the blank value okay so you how we can achieve it so uh, for example like uh, uh, to replace it you need to replace use the replace function so for example i am if you are using the select statement here 
okay select uh, and uh, you you can use the replace here okay so if you replace function so replace function syntax is the from where you want to replace it so i want to replace from the uh, text okay the next uh, syntax for this replace function is the what value you want to replace so i want to replace with the uh, p okay and uh, which value you want to replace so let me uh, replace this with the blank value okay so if you replace with the blank value and uh, you can see if you select this code okay complete so if you see the on output uh, there is no p is available okay so there is no uh, p is available and if you take the length okay if you take the length of this value uh, replace value you need to put the bracket here so uh, uh, you will get the total uh, 33 okay so if you subtract from the this original value to this value you will get the number of the repeatable characters so simply what you need to do just you can select here you can put here and you can put the uh, like the minus okay so whatever we have uh, that you need to if you subtract like you will get the how many repeatable character is there so if you replace it four like for example i am increasing one p let me put anywhere of the p like i am putting p and d p something is there and if you execute the this one you will get the output as the five so so this is the uh, way you can achieve so basically i am repeating again what exactly i did i find the complete length of this whatever the text is there then uh, whatever that find you if you want to find the p suppose the interviewer they ask to find find the m then i am replacing with the some blank value so the blank value will not count the uh, length okay so blank value will be not count with the length okay so i am replacing like i have the 4p like 5p 5p i am replacing with the p and i am subtracting so we will get the exact value like interview will change the how we can find the m so simply you need to do here the just replace with the m okay and uh, you can uh, see here uh, we have the only uh, one time m is repeated okay so like like for example if you put the something again if you want to verify cross verify you can put one one more m so like this you can two m is repeated like p if you put uh, again i am double p two p i am repeating here and i am replacing with the p again okay so you will get the how many times the p is uh, repeated so to solve this question if you put some type of the extra mind and, and definitely uh, i received this question from this one of my student if you also have some this type of the uh, question if you not able to solve solve in the interview just put the question into the comment box definitely i will help you out so thank you so much the watching uh, if you want to complete interview question, you can download from the video description. Thank you so much.